I hate that the scaling's gonna go up. Anyone playing... Uh, I had a big discovery with a new one that lets you use two items in a single turn. I got to work a few times, but honestly, I'm not going to risk it until after the competition's over. Prize money makes me think NetKey software is going to crack down hardcore on anyone that looks even remotely suspicious. Cool, two items, one turn. Attention, Danny Lines plus members. As per Tagalilu's suggestion, let's start off this morning by hitting up the last dojo, get our sixth special technique. Meet outside Honeydew Hotel, Orange Island, Black Current Beach. Will do. You know who. Oh. Morning, pal. How you feeling? Of course, you have the grodiest cat image ever. I'm fine. So you wanted to talk? Yeah, actually, if that's all right. So... <sighs> Look... You know what my goal is here, but your friends don't. Now, I'm willing to keep doing you this favor, because you've done a lot for me over these last few weeks. And we've got one last shot to make this happen. Before we carry on, though, you need to make a very important decision so we can move forward. And that's if you either want to keep up this charade, for the sake of not causing them any trouble, or if you want to tell them the truth. It all depends entirely on what you think is the right thing to do. I know this isn't an easy decision, so think it over. Hmm. So tell them that we're trying to get rid of the hackers by hacking. I mean, uh, they seem like they're pretty cool with it. Nylock. Seems like he's pretty cool with it. Uh, yeah, I think we should tell him. I already saved, so... I'm gonna tell them the truth. That's fair. We've both been basically lying to them for all the time we've known him. Now that we're so close to this make-or-break kind of moment with the last regional event, I get why you'd want to be honest with your guild. But remember... Both what I know about those hackers and what you've been doing to stop them, no matter how good our intentions are, it could all get us in big trouble. Are you sure you want them to know that? I'm sure. They deserve to know. All right. I'll trust you. I don't necessarily know what'll happen, but I promise I'll back you up either way. You're really cool. They're lucky to have you on their side. Well, that settles it then. Thanks for letting me get this off my chest. Let's round him up and meet at the hub town. I'll see you there. All right. Let me configure my game. It's better they know and then... It's better they know and if something happens, it's like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And then something happens and then... They get caught anyway. Oh wow, long loading screen. Oh, there we go. Ooh, tropical. Is everyone well, here Mulberry's dead? Mulberry's gonna be erupting at the end of the week, so before the island gets destroyed by the volcano, I'm gonna do what I never had the courage to do before. What's that you're thinking? I'm sitting here and just relaxing. Welcome to Blackheart Beach, hub town of the Orange Island Paradise, hospitality capital of Tome. It may not seem like much, but rest and relaxation can be just as important as food, power, and technology. Treat yourself well. Healing stations found all across Tome are filled with water purified from the island's volcanic hot springs. That's what makes their healing properties so potent. So you don't have to be a ghost if you don't want to. Friend. This is what you need. Perfect herb. What is this? Fully recovers the health of one party member and cures them with status elements. Ooh. Mana shines, please. Here you go, friend. 
sacred water. Ooh, wow, that is wow. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take go, four friend. of these. Two of go, these. Friend. Oh, these are the books. Oh, yeah, the twin things. Hmm. Need anything else? See you around. Yep, see you around. I might do some grinding for those. I do some grinding for those, so everyone can have those. Oh wait, no, I gotta go do my dojo thing. That's the arena. Oh, the beautiful Siren Lass is our town's dojo master. She's not a ghost, but rather a furious demon who can teach you some of the most advanced combat techniques in all of Tome. Her power is not to be trifled with. All right. Let's see what she has. Salutations, visitor. You have indeed reached the one and only Orange Island Martial Arts Dojo. And yes, I am in fact the merciless Mistress Siren Lass. What is it you desire? Very yeah. well, but fair warning. Without question, I am undoubtedly the most powerful dojo master in all of Tome. The others pale in comparison to my power. I hope you're ready. <sighs> See, here's the thing. I already fought all four of you at once. So this is a no contest fight. This is a no contest fight. I've already beaten you. With three other people. It's a no contest fight. I'm gonna use this twice. And you're gonna die. And I'm gonna get my new move. Like, I am by far the most difficult person. Uses bomb rush twice. <laughs> Win game. So much for the most difficult dojo master. I mean, yeah, in terms of health, you have a bit more health than the uh, last guy, but you're not much better. I win. God, this this place would be horrible to try to chroma key Splendid. anything. Splendid! The Net Kings are fortunate to have a warrior as skilled as you within their midst. Now, choose the special technique you wish to be taught, and it shall be so. Okay, so... I like having an AoE fire, um, because I have AoE... I have AoE natural... I have AoE Crystal, I have AoE Technical with Alpha and another person, right? I already got those covered, but I don't have an AoE Fire. That's the only thing I don't have an AoE Fire, and I think this will be more effective. It feels gratifying to pass on one of my techniques to such a deserving warrior. Use all that you've learned to make an honorable name for yourself out on the terrain. Good tidings to you, visitor. Yes. All right. Oh, hey. In my studies across the four regions of the terrain, I have found that life means many things to many people. Whatever it means to you, cherish it as if it were a priceless treasure. We, the loyal followers of Empress Kinder Spirit, were granted eternal life hey. when we followed her example. By giving up our corporeal bodies to the volcano and becoming the spiritual beings you now see before you. Hey. Do not weep for us, what is with we have evolved beyond life as you know it. Okay. This is a bot. I don't know where this bot's coming from. <laughs> but stop. Dude. Alright. Was this safe hey. pad here? Did you guys already finish all the training stuff this morning? Yep. 
We've all gotten our new techniques covered. I did some shopping and some research. I think we're all set. Just missing Tiger Lily now. No, you're not. Tiger Lily... Flame Girl can now use Rainbow Flame. Nyla can use Black Ice Blitz. Kerbifer can use the Power Beam technique. Alpha can now use Curse of Cerberus. Yang Zhao can now use Computer Virus. Tiger Lily can now use Jungle Blast. Sorry we were both lagging behind a little. Glad to hear you guys got your homework done. And then some. Apparently the rules of this one work a little differently than the others. So let's take a look, now that we're all together. Oh, there's the save point. I was wondering. <sighs> it's close to closing time. Patience and all manners of a warm welcome, warriors of the terrain. It is I, Empress Kindar Spirit. I hope you're all taking in the gorgeous surroundings of my orange island paradise. I am communicating to you all from my penthouse suite atop the ever so comfortable Honeydew Hotel. The power of astral projection is just one of the many abilities I acquired when I gave up my physical form eons ago. Unfortunately, I made a little boo-boo. As it turns out, the charred remains of my body that I sacrificed to Mount Mulberry have cursed the island. Oh no! But this is not just any curse. I wish it were only taking away a few hit points from the island every turn. Then I could simply rain some purifying droplets and relieve the land. <laughs> but no, sadly it's far worse than that. This curse is going to cause the eruption of Mount Mulberry's volcanic core in just seven short days. <laughs> the overflowing lava will scorch the entire island and erase it in a burning blaze of death. <laughs> but fret not, for there is still hope. And that hope lies within all of you, my lively and spirited warriors. I have kept a close eye on the activity occurring within the regions that surround my precious island. I'm well aware of the many talented guilds that have sought to rid the Adotus Woods of the Shadow Beast, expel the parasite of Morganite Valley, and usurp the dictator of Telluria City. Many would-be heroes have gone unrewarded throughout those trials, but this might just be your shining moment. I have informed a slew of my adorable spirit guides to keep a close eye on all guilds within the island's vicinity, and over the next six days, they shall be judging each and every one of you for the deeds you do, both the good and the bad. Be mindful of every action you take. On the sixth day, based on the collective total of good and bad deeds that each warrior commits, a total of four guilds will be selected to enter the mouth of Mount Mulberry to retrieve my remains and dispel the horrible curse on Orange Island. Will it be you and your friends? Only time and your decisions will tell. But know that I believe in all of you, for the fate of my precious island lies within the choices you make. So, please, don't let me down. Though we are in a desperate situation, just remember these sage words. When things get tough, just look for that silver lining. <laughs> Horrors! An entire region of the terrain being desecrated by an unending sea of molten magma? This quest sounds to be the most perilous of them all! Ah, so the big thing that separates this one is that only four guilds will even get to compete. That, and it sounds like we have to register up front, you know, instead of waiting until we meet the requirements like the last three. It must be really down to the wire then. If they're only allowing so many guilds to compete, Having the guilds register ahead of time must make it easier for them to keep track. Wow, well in that case, I guess it's a good thing we met you in the last one. <laughs> it's gotta be... Destiny! Alright, let's take care of the next step. Welcome, Warrior of Tome. Are you here to register you and your guild for the Campaign of Champions 4th Regional Event? Yes. Please register the name of your guild and number of members. The Dandy Alliance Plus. 
Seven members. Still with the plus. Your bravery is much appreciated. Your guild of seven members has been registered. In order to compete in the Orange Island regional event, you must accomplish an impressive number of good deeds in the eyes of Empress Kinder Spirit's vassal designated to your party. Oh! Hiya, hiya! Better be good or I'll tell on you! Remember, I'm always watching! The four guilds that will compete in the fourth event shall be selected and announced by end of day on the sixth day of the week. Good luck to you all. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling really good about this week. We're gonna do this. Hear, hear! I... Nylock, Dragon of Colossal Confidence! Believes wholeheartedly that the Dandy Alliance Plus will prove itself to be the noblest of guilds in the eyes of Empress Kinder Spirit and her ghostly guides. What shall our first mission be, Guildmaster? The world is our oyster in this case. Uh, the island is anyway. Sounds delicious. In essence, all we need to do is split up into groups again and take on as many missions as we possibly can over the next few days. They range from taking out enemies to finding treasures to helping certain NPCs, etc., etc. But you'll also be ranked for how well you accomplish the mission, too. Since we have seven members from the get go this time, I say we try some bigger groups, at least three or four, so we can cover some decent ground each day and be well equipped because these will probably be the hardest tasks we've had to go through yet. I've got a small handful of yeah, missions man. already lined up that I researched about this morning, so I'll send out a few emails to everyone for some suggestions. Otherwise, starting tonight, grab a few folks and start hitting up as many areas as possible. At every turn, there will be something you can do to add up to our good deed count. So let's do as much as we can up until the sixth day. Any questions? Sounds good to me. Yep, no questions here. Indeed. This night shall dedicate mind, body, mind, and soul night and day to the cause. Same. And I made sure to have nothing else going on this week. So I'll be around for whenever you guys need me. Great. Then I say we take a little break and then get back to work. Actually, not so much a question, but we've got to talk about something real important. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, or spill oh we're doing this now uh, oh okay i thought we were gonna like wait till the end of the week and tell them okay we're doing it now all right all right mm. <sighs> i don't even know where to start but i need to be the one to start because a lot of this links back to me your whole guild's been built on trust which is fantastic i super commend you for that but <sighs> The truth is, I haven't been 100% honest with you guys. What about exactly? <sighs> okay, there's no easy way for me to say this, so I'm sorry in advance for being blunt about everything. What I haven't been honest about is why you guys have been up against such overwhelming odds since the Campaign of Champions started. This whole competition is being rigged by a bunch of malicious hackers. What? Neither you nor any other individual player and guild alike have had a truly fair shot of winning, except for the three winners of the last few regional events. Oh my God, I knew it! We could never prove it, but those little cheating rats, they were hackers! No, you're wrong. I know Saturn Diva and Snow Whitey. They'd never do something like this. I'm sure they wouldn't. They probably just don't know they're being manipulated. Two of their newest guild members helped their team cheat. And it goes a lot deeper than that. Raccoon of the Troublemakers and Dust Bunny and Raven Freak of the Cast of Dreams are black hat hackers. And they were all hired by one person for the same purpose. To lose in the final competition against that same person in question. It's Zeto, isn't it? Yes. How do you know all this? The short version is, we used to be close, Zeto and I. We were both beta testers, knew a few people from NetKing Software, 
and we were both pretty involved in some programming communities online. He knew a lot of people on the, we'll say, less than moral side of things. That's how I'm familiar with a lot of folks in that world, and it's how I know what he's been up to. He hired all of those hackers from a little underground site called Debuggers. I've been keeping track of his activity by lurking around the job listings on their forum. It all makes sense. And the fact that the players are all entering from home, there's no way for the developers to know for sure that anyone is cheating. That gives them a huge advantage to do whatever they want and completely get away with it. You've known about this since the beginning? So, you're one of them too? No, but I am. No way. It's true. There's no use hiding it anymore. You've both been using us this entire time, haven't you? No, listen. If you should blame anyone for this, it's me and me alone. I asked them to help me, and you guys were never intended to be dragged into this. It just happened to work out that way. I... I selfishly wanted to beat Zeto at his own game by countering his cheating crap and even out the odds. So I called in the one person I could depend on for something like this, while I gave updates on anything I could sniff out. So, we got caught up in this just because of that one day we happened to cross paths? But, Hattie, you stuck around. This is ridiculous. What was the point of all this, huh? None of us could have really helped you stop any of these guys. So yeah, why stick around? Tell me. Because I wanted to help you guys. We kept secrets from you all, yes. But what we have told you is the truth, including everything we've done up to this point. I took the request to come join your guild because there was a genuine intent to try and get this team to the top. By cheating? It's not like that. I had no choice. We had to fight fire with fire or else Zeto's gonna laugh all the way to the winner's circle with no one to stand in his way. We had a talk this morning and ultimately we decided that the right thing to do was to tell you everything. I know this must be hard to hear, but now that you know the truth, is there anything else you want to say? Damn it. Now I'm the one who doesn't even know where to start. I only have one question for you two. Sure. Does this change anything? What do you mean? About our odds. Does this change anything about the odds of not just us, but any other guild actually winning? Like I said last time, I don't know for sure. Zeto's plan was to have the other three guilds in the final competition either take the fall on purpose or be bogged down with duds that'll cause them to lose in the end. So no matter what happens, he'll be guaranteed victory. But there is a distinct advantage we have in that there's a white hat on our side to help stand a chance against the black hat hackers. It's still not a guarantee, but it's something that may get us as far as the finals. Maybe even beyond that. Then as far as I'm concerned, this changes nothing. The only difference is now we're all on the same page. If we still have even a sliver of a chance to take home the prize, I'm taking it. As long as you guys are all in. That includes you two. All right. Uh, um, Guildmaster, art thou sure this is the only course of action we can take? Yes, because the other two teams are hacking. And without me, you're destined to lose. We don't have any other options. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Please allow me to start listing the many other options. Losing to hackers? And number one, we tell NetKing Software that three out of the four finalist teams for their competition with several thousand dollars at stake are using illegal methods to win those dollars in question. You know what'll happen if we do that. Um, they'll be dropped from the campaign? And then the campaign itself will be dropped, too. There's no way it wouldn't be at this point if a scandal like that broke out. And we're in a short time frame here. Maybe so, but think about it. Just the act of us knowing about this whole thing and not doing something about it, wouldn't that in some way make us accomplices to a crime? There is a risk of us getting into hot water. It's one that I've been taking since the beginning, and I'm sticking by it but it's not necessarily something I'd blame the rest of you for not wanting to do. Uh, 
Steph, what do you want to do? No, I already blew two orbs of unity, so you're not kicking nobody else out. All right, you're not kicking nobody out. We're all sticking together. We you good. already know the answer. <clears throat> Guildmaster, this knight still has a promise to keep in order to serve the purpose of which the Dandy Alliance was first formed. That promise has not been forgotten. However, lies would be uttered if certain reservations were not spoken of. I know. I'm sure all of you have good reasons to be uncomfortable. I get that. So, this is it. This is where you all need to decide right here, right now. If you're in or out. Um, no pressure? Can we not even have just the day to think about this? No, we don't have time. That break I suggested? I'm doing that now. And then I'm immediately putting the next five straight days into getting entry to that event. If this is the line for you guys, then I understand. But I'm not quitting. This night is stricken with utter confliction. We can't just give up. Guys, this is our last shot. We're so close. I know, but this sucks. This is like the actual worst thing right here. I, I don't know what to do. I'm echoing her sentiment. My goal's still set and I'm going for it, regardless of how this turns out. If you guys want me on board, I'll stay. Steph, I'm so sorry. I don't want to just up and leave, but... I said before, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Even if that means not playing entirely by the rules. Especially if our direct competition isn't either. Hell, they're making the rules into their plaything. But we still have a chance. That said, if this is where the Dandy Alliance has to come to a close, they'll understand if any and all of you want to leave. It sounds like you, me, and Tiger Lily are all in favor. And Herb, Nine, Softy aren't quite sure. Is that about right? Yeah, we're literally split down the middle, except... It's down to you, pal. What do you want to do? I want to finish what I started. I... I must confess something. Whoa, that's rare. No title? <clears throat> Sir, go ahead. Several weeks ago, while questing in the forest maze of the Adotis Woods, the troublemakers insinuated that Squire Hat possessed powers similar to theirs, and seemed to be quite weary of this. In thanks to the assistance being lent to the Alliance, a blind eye was turned. Wow, I didn't even think about that. I never realized what was happening that day. With the situation being made clear now, despite the shades of grey that clouds this knight's sense of right and wrong, Perhaps it was thanks to Squire Hat's intervention from the shadows that we ever had a chance of overcoming this hidden enemy. Yeah, even on our first day when we both logged in and met you guys, the troublemakers were caught off guard then too, and Raven Freak and Dust Bunny, when we had to deal with them. I guess, when you think about it, we've really all just been doing the same thing since the beginning, even if we didn't know. Maybe that doesn't necessarily make it right, but we are fighting for a good cause. Aren't we? Sure, but does that make us self-righteous and selfish to put our good cause above everyone else's? I mean, who's to say some other guilds competing that we haven't even met yet aren't out there trying to win that prize money for something equally important? You could totally make that argument, but these are the facts. Either we give it the best shot we possibly can to beat all the odds, or Zeto just wins. It's one or the other. And with even just the tiniest chance of winning, I'm not going to let the latter happen if I can help it. We made our choices on what we thought was the right thing to do. So now, it's all of your calls to make. And Steph said we ain't got much time. So what's it going to be? At the end of the day, I think we're doing something good for someone else. And this is the first chance I've had in a long time to do that. I'm staying. <sighs> He's staying. I'm staying too. Curb your scent. This knight left one guild behind in order to fulfill a <laughs> vow of the utmost importance. Uh, to be a hero to someone in need. I... Nylock, master of everlasting loyalty! Shall not abandon mine comrades when they are in need. You helped me in a time when I needed someone. And I owe it to you to see this through. So I will. Guys, if anything goes wrong, 
And I mean horribly wrong. I'll take full responsibility. No, and you're I not. promise, when this whole ordeal is said and done, I'll pay you all back for what you've given me. Thank you. We're all in this together, no matter what happens. If we all get arrested, hopefully they'll put us in the same cell. Not funny! Okay, it's kind of funny. That settles it then. The game's still on. I'll send off that email as soon as I can, and then let's start racking up some good deeds for the Empress. Dandy Alliance Plus, break. Well, that wasn't the shit well, show. It's done. That went shockingly well. I knew everything would be okay. <laughs> You're even smarter than I give you credit for, pal. And I'd like to think I give you plenty of credit to begin with. Before, when it felt like it was just us against the not-so-nice hackers, it didn't seem as bad. Now that your friends are roped into this, even I'm getting nervous. It all feels real, like, really real. We may be hackers, but we'll still make their dreams come true. Yeah, no pressure, right? Well, let's make good on our word. We've got a lot of work to do. Alright. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button!